Oh, okay, never mind. Different day, same hair. Well, boys, so today I'm gonna be giving you guys a full overview of the S10, so we about to start this boy up and be finna move it. So yeah, so basically today I'm just gonna be giving you guys a complete full overview of the S10, like everything that's done to it, stuff like that. Um, so a lot of people were telling me to use my camera, because I have my camera, because I do photography and stuff like that, so camera time. So uh, we're kind of blocked in by the Tahoe, so forward, right, back, left. I got this maneuver skills, boys. I don't know where I'm gonna put the S10. Actually, yes, I do. I know exactly where I'm gonna put this bad boy. Same spot. I took videos last yesterday. But first, we gotta park it up in the middle of the road and take pics. Like yesterday. Was that yesterday? Two days ago, I think. Right? Also, I got a mic, so it'll be with no wind noise. <laughs> you know. No cars, I don't think. To the right, swing or left. Okay. So my neighbor was like coming this way, so I hopped back in the truck and then now she went the other way. But we're gonna walk all the way away so we get that dope shot. Alright, leave me alone on my camera. Shaky skills, okay? Camera's shakier and harder to hold than the um, phone is for me. But yeah, boys, here it is. The S10 in good quality. So, honestly, I don't really feel safe showing you guys it on the road, so we're just going to get some, like, cool shots of it. We're going to go to the back. Bro, who did a burnout right there? I didn't do that. I want to do a burnout, but I didn't do one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, also, I'm still messing with, like, my camera video settings, so it kind of looks bad. But I can, like, edit the brightness and post-editing. Honestly, if you vlog and drive with holding your camera, you're a douchebag. Because you're not paying attention to the road, and you honestly could just smack someone with your truck, or your car, or your four-wheeler, or your dirt bike, whatever you're in. And that's not cool, dog. So, that's why you gotta have... What was I even talking about? Um, don't vlog and drive. Don't text and drive. Like, I put my camera here. And like defocus my eyes to it so I can see what you guys see and stuff because you know you're in the way of my view. Ooh, I could show you guys one of my other cars, it's right there. It's literally one of my other cars is literally right ahead of where I'm about to go. I don't know if I want to show you guys yet. Dang, it's looking sexy. I might just quick glimpse, quick glimpse. Nope, that's it. That's all you got. Okay. Okay, here it is boys, this is the S10. I know you've seen it last video and every video on the channel so far has been involved around this beautiful boy. So, this is a 1991 Chevy S10 base model, single cab, 4.3 liter V6. So there's not really that much done to this truck. I mean, it kind of looks like there's a decent amount done, but there's not. The truck is lowered on full belt tech suspension, so there's a four inch block in the back. You know, I'm gonna try to use my phone to get this shot for you. So in the back, there's a four inch block. So, you know, I'll make a video how to lower an S10 when I lower my extended cab. And then in the front, there is um, two inch drop spindles and some drop coils, also from Beltec. So she sits on a 3-4 drop. So originally, this thing had some um, IROX off a Gen 3 IROC, which they look absolutely amazing on the truck. So when I got the truck from my uncle, it had um, the matching fender to this one on it. So this was on the other side too, on this side, but it was be it was bent in. Not bent, it was dented in, you know? So yeah. The truck was my uncle's and uh, the reason that it has blue hood, blazer fenders, is because one day on his way to work, a semi decided they wanted to run over the front end of the truck. So it went like that. My uncles were, both of my uncles were in there, and they were scared that the semi wasn't going to go over the cab. Thankfully, it didn't. So, the bumper mounts and stuff are a little bit messed up from that, but they did a pretty good job putting it back together, I think. The hood is actually blue. See? It's blue, not black. It's, yeah, it's blue. I'll go in order of when I, how I did everything. So, after we swapped this fender on it,
went ahead, well I went ahead, and I wired up a new radio for it, which is a, just a, some old Sony radio with an aux cable, stuff like that. So I got that wired up in here. Also, it came with this steering wheel on it from, my uncle had it. It's a Chevy Cavalier steering wheel. And then we went ahead and we smacked some sick headlights on there. They're just some like $60 LEDs off eBay, but I think they look sick. So yeah, they look like, like they're just $60 headlights from eBay, but they look good. And then we head around back. It's got the stock tail lights on it. I want to get new tail lights, but I don't know which ones I want to get. So the exhaust setup is it's chopped at the converter. Converter is sitting on the floor in the shop. And then it's a pipe back to a Flowmaster. Where is the Flowmaster? Another phone clip I'll try to get. So yeah, it's just an old Flowmaster exhaust my uncle threw on like 2016 when we first moved here. My dad has pictures of him and my uncle putting an exhaust on it. Now when we hop up in here, we go ahead and we pop the hood. It's ugly as crap, but it's a motor, okay? I'm gonna turn the heat on while I show you guys the motor. Because it's cold. A little bit. So here it is, boys. 1991 Chevy S10 4.3 liter V6. Got us like a 10 year old battery sitting right there. Moroso, air cover. You know, it's basic. It's literally just a motor, nothing special. When um, we changed the front end, we also painted behind the grill, so it's all black again. It's dirty back there, but it's all black again. So yeah, here she is. That's the S10. Overall, so here's the price build down of the whole truck. I'll add a calculator or like a mark, like a box thing right there. So I got the truck for $500 off my uncle. She was fully running, driving. All it needed was brakes. My dad had that radio laying around. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm exposing myself, but my dad bought this truck for my sister for her first car. She didn't want it, so she got a 99 OBS instead. And my dad still had this, and he picked it up a couple years ago. Like, no, a little over a year ago. And he dailyed it, and then, like, winter came. He said, here, have this truck. So, yes, technically, it's not mine. Well, I didn't pay for it, but if I really wanted to, I could just hand in my wallet, and the whole truck would be paid off. I'm just I'm editing this right now, but I told my dad I'd pay him for it, and he said, "No, you don't gotta worry about it." I was like, "Oh, okay." So, yeah, okay. So yeah, the radio was just laying around. Uh, I went on eBay. You can find this exact radio for like seventy dollars. It's a uh, Sony. I'll try to get you guys the model. There, look up that. You'll find the model. And it came with the Chevy Cavalier steering wheel, which those things are actually pretty expensive. Like back in the day, like when I'm guessing, they got the steering wheel for this truck. They were like 20 bucks at the junkyard, but now they're like 120, 130. They're expensive. So yeah, that those two came free. So basically, at this point, all I all we have in the truck is $500 until headlights. These were just like $60 off eBay. You know, something different than the halogens that are dim, super dim. Yeah, I, I'm debating on getting clears or not, but I don't know. But yeah, and then these Ankies. I didn't even tell you guys about these. So, me and my dad were talking about getting GTA wheels back when we had the IROX on it. And then he went to um, Swap Meet in Crete. Yeah, I live in Illinois. There you go. Merry Christmas. Come say hi. I don't. No, don't come, don't come to my house, please. please. But it just has some... These are Anki 92s right here. But you only find these in four lug, not five lug, because these are old wheels. These are like early 2000, late 90 wheels. And yes, they fit the truck perfectly. Like, fitments, not perfect, but the same offset in the front and the back, so it looks nice. Like, the IROC sat in, like, about where this lip was, like, right here. So, yeah. I forgot to say how much they were, but they were 250 bucks for all four. I want to go lower in the back. I really want to lower the truck more, period. So I'm thinking about getting some drop leaves for the back and then cutting a coil or two in the front. So, because right now, that's a big gap. I want this right here to sit about here. A little like a 
little that much. Hilux. Yeah, basically, I really want to go lower in the back and the front because it's like a monster truck. And this is me next to it. Ta -da. What do you think, Lux? Needs to go lower? We could drop it more. I'm gonna go over to the shop. Oh yeah? Is it ground one? Um, let's go on the road. That's what I was gonna do. Hey, I'll follow you. Let's We're go. gonna get some Lux rollers. Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm trying to go home. You're going to the shop. That's not your home. Why are you asking questions? I don't know. I'm just trying to roll. Here. We're gonna film a drive by. That truck stinks, it's smelly. And I'm just sitting on the middle of the road. Ah, shit, I'm going in the grid. Fuck. <laughs> I got that time because I like, did a thing, but I'm in the grass now. <laughs> See, I turned it around. I like the exhaust. Did you find smells. out how to zoom in? Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Great. I was still going in the grass and I kept saying shit 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 fuck and then I was in the grass I came in with a new party clock fuck like a bitch make that one a million get out of the way I'm trying to truck this is Cameron pushing me in the wheelchair big bump well, that was a change of events. Um, I'm showing you guys the full truck to rollers with my sister. So. Okay, she's my camera, and I don't know how I'm supposed to get in there, so I'm just gonna roll my window up. I just realized I had my heat blaring while my window was all the way down for like a while. Always looks good wherever you put it, man. It's a beautiful look truck. So basically, I don't know how I was gonna get it in here. Like, I know how I got it out. I just don't know how to like reverse that operation. It looks goofy from right here. Oh well. So yeah, boys, I'm kind of stuck on content right now because everyone wants me to do YouTube. I don't know what you want me to do besides do what I've been doing, like just taking it spots for pictures. So, yeah, there was the full build breakdown of it so far. It's kind of lame, but you know what? We need to take a thumbnail. Hold up. All right, if I don't like that screenshot here. Basically, all I can really tell you is that I'm, I only have, like, literally, like, four video ideas besides building the black Extended Cab X10. Extended Cab X10, which I'll probably show you guys that, like, tomorrow. Maybe. I mean, it's in the shop, and the shop's a mess, so I don't really want to show you guys messy shop so yeah i have s10 s10 five five vehicles so i'm not gonna lie the white one and the wagon were free so still got them and so is the car that i glimpsed earlier i'm not gonna explain it to you but Sister's in a wheelchair right now. Sister can't fit, like, slide into that car. Sister got new car. I got old car. How it worked. Without having to give you guys all the details, me tales. You know what? I'll show it to you. I'll just cut the background out. So it's just me. You know what? Why would I hide it? You guys have seen it on my freaking TikTok. Chevy Cruze. I like it. Okay. I think it's a pretty beautiful looking car. So, 
since I think it's a pretty beautiful looking car, I'm gonna build it. Now, what I'm gonna do to it does not concern you guys yet. But, so, I'm gonna give you guys a little sauce. So, the extended cab S10, the black one, the motor in it's junk. And I'm standing in front of the motor that might be going in it. Well, the motor's in this truck. It's in the OBS. 5.7 V8, like quarter million miles. Still runs great. So yeah, like literally the only video ideas I have is showing you guys all the vehicles. At like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like line them all up in the driveway over there in like a circle so it looks cool. So basically, showing you guys all the vehicles I have and then showing you guys like a full, like going in detail about everything about the car. I don't know if I want to give you guys build, like what I'm, how I'm gonna build them yet. So if you guys enjoyed, Build breakdown of the S10 and some cool sound clip rollers. Smash a like, cause you know. If you guys want to enjoy, make sure you guys smash a like, subscribe, comment down below, like what you guys want to see me do with the vehicles, cause one of them is an absolute piece of junk. But yeah, see you guys in next video. Bye bye.